in Zomato and in Paytm. There are employees that are being let go of in the number of hundreds. You could be working in an AI organization but in a wrong department and an entire division was just fired. Luckily, I was not part of that team but I first hand witnessed how does it feel like to be fired for no fault of yours. I'm not someone who's against capitalism but I'm someone who's against crony capitalism. You would have seen in a lot of news and maybe YouTube videos that there is mass unemployment that's taking place or mass firing also that's taking place. Why do you think that's happening? So there are largely three reasons because of which there is mass firing that's taking place. One is just the pure play macroeconomic environment because of which a lot of startups and a lot of organizations are not able to have your funding because of lack of funding organizations are letting go of employees. That's one. Second is because of poor prioritization. I was working in one of the leading e-commerce ventures in 2015 when they started a new division and after a year they realized that there is no value of it and an entire division was just fired. Luckily I was not part of that team but I first hand witnessed how does it feel like to be fired for no fault of yours. That's the second problem. And then the third problem is what one of you said which is of poor upskilling especially in the world of artificial intelligence. Today as an entrepreneur, my team is actually building AI and ML tool for enhancing and elevating the efficiency of our internal operations. It's another thing that I have a small team because of which what happens is I'm not letting go of my employees. My existing employees are being elevated to do more complex tasks. But that we are able to do. Why? Because we have a small team. Now imagine that you are employing more than 10,000 employees. What would happen? And there, there are multiple sectors and multiple examples of that. One is IT and software services. In fact, the CEO of NVIDIA said when he was being questioned that would you recommend everyone to learn coding? And he said that in today's NVIDIA and AI world, I rather want no one to learn coding because AI will be able to handle your C++ and Java code. Now imagine a world where no one needs to learn coding, softwares are still needed. What would the Infosys Wipro of the world do? There will be mass firing that will take place. So that is one use case. Then there is another use case of e-commerce and startups. As one of you correctly mentioned, Zomato, Paytm, leading unicorns of our country, the front face of the unicorns of our country. Of course, at the end of the day, all organizations want to be profitable. And that is the challenge when you take route of extreme capitalism without regulation in Zomato and in Paytm because of efficiency of services or because of making sure that there is business restructuring taking place. There are employees that are being let go of in the number of hundreds and then there is banking and financial services as well. Because of these banking and financial services, there is a huge need of automation and a huge need to solve for customer services and chatbots and IVF especially in the world of AI are serving huge benefits to these corporates. And that's why in Harvard, for example, there is a course called as crony capitalism, crony capitalism. I'm not someone who's against capitalism, but I'm someone who's against crony capitalism. And that is why you as the potential next government in whatever age or format or year you take up important roles, you'll have to make sure that important technologies are sustainably deployed. Very important. It's almost like having a nuclear weapon in your hand. I took this example previously as well. If a nuclear weapon goes in bad hands, what will happen? Terrorists and bad players will be able to launch attacks. And that's the challenge when there will be too much tech innovation Few people will become richer and the poor will become poorer as well. And in GJ, for example, I teach a masterclass on market failures. What you do in market failure is in private sector market, if there are market failures, then you as government intervene. So you have to make sure that while science and technology advancement should take place, while it should be implemented and you all should be upskilled and have a change of behavior to accommodate that science and technological change as well, you need to make sure is it a sustainable change or is it an ad hoc change driven by crony capitalist as well. And now I speak to all of you, not just in the governance mechanism, but more in your private capacity. What should you do? In my view, even if there's, there is some time for all of you to appear for civil services, there are three things that you need to do right away. 
especially in the world of artificial intelligence generative ai and a lot of jobs being taken away by generative ai across major sectors number 1 pick the right industry and the right department very important so for example in funding winter of 2024 artificial intelligence ventures are still getting funding that means that it's the right industry and it's the right department you could be working in an ai organization but in a wrong department so you have to make sure you're in the right industry which is typically if you see and look at the funding patterns it is ai second is you have no choice but to upskill yourself be a bureaucrat or not become a bureaucrat today you do not have much choice to not learn ai and learning ai is also divided into two parts what are the two parts one is learn how to just use generative ai tools such as chat gpt for your daily day to day tasks second is learn bit of coding to be able to build a little bit of chat gpt as well so that when your neck is next to get fired in your organization as well for those of you who are preparing for civil services with your job as well you make sure that you are able to move to the right department as well something for example which is what we are teaching at global tech initiative feynman fellowship as well we are making sure that the new india is not getting massively fired just because coding is going to get away and then the third answer that you might have is entrepreneurship and within ai and related to ai allied sectors as well so you may say that shataksh i do not want to get a job in the right sector and in the right department you may say that shatakshi i do not want to get up skill but the second point will still apply to you you make sure that you start something of your own by using ai so that you are sitting on the right side of the table so that's the messaging you all need to understand at a macro level when it comes to expedited implementation of science and technology and at a micro level what should you all do as citizens and as potential employees as well